Hi, I'm Max and you're watching She Knows Digital, your weekly digest of online marketing tips and digital hacks to make your business skyrocket in the coming months. Today, let's talk about the difference between WordPress, WordPress.com and WordPress.org. So what is WordPress? WordPress is an online open source website creation tool written in PHP. But in non-geek speak, it's probably the easiest and the most powerful blogging and website content management system or CMS that has ever been created. And most importantly, it's completely free. In November 2015, it became official that 25% of all websites worldwide are powered by WordPress. Congratulations to Automotive, the company that created the tool. Okay, so we know now that WordPress is a tool that helps you post content on your website or a blog. What is WordPress.com then? WordPress.com is a commercial site of Automotive, so the company which created the tool, where you can host your own site that will run on the WordPress platform for free, or you can upgrade to get some additional features. So WordPress.com serves up your hosting and set up everything for you on WordPress. It means that you do not have to deal with servers, for example, but the setup has some limitations, and I will talk about those limitations probably in my next video. And the last but not least, WordPress.org. WordPress.org is where you can grab your own copy of WordPress, so the blogging or content management software CMS, for free. It's also a great library of all plugins that can help you to develop your site even further. But that means you have a responsibility to find your own hosting company to house your WordPress site along with your own domain name to point visitors to. Setting up WordPress on your own hosting gives you a full control over your WordPress software and your site. You can install plugins, use custom themes, and most importantly, you have access to the code of the site. If you are thinking about setting up a professional blog or a site, I would definitely suggest you going for self-hosted WordPress solutions. So going to WordPress.org, downloading the software, finding a server company, and installing software there. Hope this video helped you understand better the difference between WordPress, WordPress.com, and WordPress.org. I'm Max, and you watch She Knows Digital. Don't forget to sign up to my newsletter. You can find the link below this video.